Hi, I'm Matt, one of the founders of AirOps. We make it easy for anyone to build amazing apps with large language models like GPT-4 and Claude. Today, I'm going to show you an incredibly powerful tool for generating high quality outputs from your prompts and your AI workflows. Today, we're going to break down how to use user assistant pairs, also known as K-Shot prompting. Once you nail this, your LLM outputs will be more accurate, more consistent, and adhere to the exact format you want them in. After watching this video, you'll be able to understand the differences between system, user, and assistant prompts, create one-shot and multi-shot prompts using user assistant pairs, and automate generating prompts and user assistant pairs with AirOps. First, what are user assistant pairs and why are they important? You can think of an LLM as a really big and often dumb brain that you need to get to focus to generate the outputs you want. The way to do that is to feed it context and examples. User assistant pairs are how we feed the LLM analogies just like this using one or more examples in our prompt. Let's do a recap of how prompts are structured within the AirOps platform. To exemplify how we use user assistant pairs, uh, we're going to use an app within AirOps that is basically designed to help a PR maven respond to one of their clients based on any inquiry. So we'll open this up. This app takes three inputs, uh, your name, a client name, and a client inquiry. We'll go into edit the app and then the LLM step uh, where the user assistant pairs can be found. Uh, but first a quick overview of uh, the different types of structures of a prompt. The, you first have the, the model you'll select to use uh, within AirOps. Um, so we're gonna use GPT-4 for this task. Um, again, high quality writing and really urgent in, in the, the level of care you want to provide. GPT-4 is the most powerful model, so we'll use that. And we'll set our temperature around a, a 0.5 as we want a little bit of creativity in the type of response that we generate. Now to the prompt. There are three main parts to the prompt. There is the system prompt. This is where you define uh, who or what the LLM that you're working with uh, should be when it is performing the task that you're going to ask. Second is the user prompt. And third is the assistant prompt. These user assistant prompts will be working together to provide an analogy to the LLM. But first, let's do what most people do when they get started, um, which is just write a system prompt and a request to the LLM. So, so let's see how this performs uh, without any user assistant prompt at all. Your name, that, client name, we'll say Elon Musk, uh, client inquiry, we'll say highly confidential, SpaceX, launch plans were leaked. All right, so what we have here. Dear Elon, I hope this finds you well. I'm deeply concerned. I'm gonna stop right there. I don't think Elon Musk is gonna take too kindly to this being the response he gets from his PR team on confidential documents being. So what can we do to improve the type of responses that our uh, our PR Maven bot here is, is helping? And what we wanna do is give the LLM several analogies. These will be user assistant pairs. The user is the request that the client inquiry, we're, we're, we're mocking up a client inquiry and client name for the LLM to take in. And then the assistant would be the ideal response that we would want it to get. We'll provide, uh, again, something that will mock up the later call of client name and client inquiry. In this case, it's Elon Musk. In this case, the inquiry is the same one we used. And now we'll give it the actual response that we should have as Elon Musk's PR agent. What we'd want to be able to say, is urgent subject calling you now. There doesn't need to be a body of this email. Whether you even respond to the email would be a, be a question to this, but uh, this is a little bit closer to the type of output we would want the LLM to generate. Now, what about a case where it's not such an urgent inquiry? In this case, we wanna provide another example, another set of user assistant pairs to give a broader range of the type of responses that we want the LLM uh, to provide based on client. So let's use another example using Michael Phelps. Let's also give it a example response. In this case, we'll write a to the point email that is reflective of the type of relationship you expect a PR agent to have with their, with their client. And then lastly, we'll use this user assistant pairs here. We're gonna save this and then we will test this one more time. 
All right, we're getting a little bit better here. Probably could do, do a little better. Now let's try another one. A little bit better again, more to the point, more familiar tone, more along the lines of what you'd want as a response from a paying a lot of money to a peer agency. So that's how user assistant pairs work. Again, to recap, your system prompt helps tell the LM who it is. The user assistant pairs, the first two, give analogies to the LLM to explain how to do things. And then finally, the last user prompt here, super important, is where we actually pass in the variables such that as you get new client in inquiries, you can generate the desired response. One last tip on getting started with user assistant pairs. In the case that you were less familiar with user assistant pairs, we also let you use AI to help with your prompting and generate some examples. So in this case, I'm actually gonna delete the LLM step we created here. I'm going to add a new one, and this will be blank. So uh, I'm gonna select GPT-4, because that's the model we want. Um, and then here I'm gonna click Generate with AI. So task type, we'll actually do question and answer. Markdown, and then write a quick prompt. So let's pull in here that I've created. Let's see what we get. All right, so not too bad. Uh, you see here this automatically pulled in the variables we created uh, and the tone is pretty close, it's a lot closer to what we wanted. So now that we have this, let's give it a test. So helpful, not condescending and direct and to the point. So we're getting somewhere. Um, this has been how you can use AI to accelerate using user assistant props. Thanks for tuning in. Today we covered user assistant pairs, what they are, why they're important for accurate and efficient prompts, and how to use them within AirOps to quickly build powerful AI workflows. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I recommend learning more about memory stores next. We have a great video about them that you should watch, and we'll link to it in the bottom of this video here. Lastly, if you wanna go deeper, sign up for our builder program where you'll receive training and support to get started with a career in AI and build awesome AI workflows, whatever your use case may be. You can find that on our YouTube channel in the links below.